Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 9.3.3. This is the final release, and it comes in at different sizes depending on what version you're currently at. This is after five betas they've actually had before this pretty minor release. It's 9.3.3, so anytime you have that 0 .3 or 0.123, it's pretty small. Let's take a look at the build number. This is build 13G34, and that's the exact same build number as beta 5. And so what that means is they've decided beta 5 was good enough, and that's going to be the final revision that's pushed out to the public. So this is available right now over the air if you have an iPhone, and you don't have to have a beta profile or anything like that. It's available to the general public. Now this update brings mainly security fixes, but also some bug fixes and some performance improvements. Now, I'm not exactly sure what they mean by that because there's nothing visually different. The only thing that looks different here is my wallpaper, and that's because that's a wallpaper I actually chose, and I'll leave a link of that in the description below. Now, the rest of this basically is going to look the same. Everything feels nice and smooth. There have been some reports already of people with connectivity issues with Bluetooth. Uh, some people saying they had bad battery. I actually didn't have that problem at all. Uh, other people saying they've had all sorts of little connectivity issues. So Apple really hasn't worked out 100% of the bugs, but this is available for the iPhone, the iPad, and the iPod Touch. So depending on which versions of those you have, you should have the update. If you've already got 9.3, you can update to 9.3.3. So nothing really new other than that. Some security performance and bug fixes, which are always nice, but there's always more bugs. But be sure to check out my other video on the upcoming iOS 10. Beta 3 was also released today along with some watch software and OS or Mac OS Sierra now as it's called. So there's some updates there as well. Be sure to check the channel for the other updates on iOS 10. If you found anything though in 9.3.3, any problems, anything you found in particular, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.